Action. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Terry from Be Natural. And Nathaniel from Be Happy. Yes. Um, today we're going to be doing a slightly different kind of a video. Um, where um, we basically showing, yeah, <laughs> showing where we get our local bee products. We know it's kind of difficult um, where you have to order and do stuff like mm -hmm. that all the time. So if you're looking for a place where you could find um, products quickly, uh, Bloombox always have us covered. That's where I purchase um, a lot of my stuff too. So we'll just go through and show the different products that they have and the purposes and so on for the products. Huh? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so here we are, Bloombox. Ready to go inside? <laughs> So the, it seems like the, the beekeeping equipment stuff at the back, on the back end of the building. Um, they have the bee suits and the veils. Which I like. I like those veils. Yeah, the veil, <laughs> as, yeah my Terry has a veil. She got there, right? Yep. From um, you guys, I guess you guys always see it in the videos. And they have the gloves. These gloves are actually cheaper than what you will get online. Uh, if you're looking for like a quick pair of gloves, um, you, they have you covered. They have foundation. And look at the price on the foundation. Like Five dollars for foundation. You can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Now, they have the queen wearing kits for novice, like the novice quick queen wearing kit system, um, where you can actually just put that in the hive. Mm -hmm. and the bees the queen lays in it and you don't have to do no grafting and so on if you're not mm -hmm. very good with grafting okay. so that's a nice very nice system you also have like the queen cages where you put that on the on the frame mm -hmm. push it on the frame and then you introduce your queen and um, the bees will not kill her in oh. the process wow. so they have a refractor meter that is what I usually, you guys usually see in my bee videos, beekeeping videos, where um, we test the water level in the honey to know if it's ready to pull or not. And I think that's a reasonable price. It was a bit more expensive, but I saw they dropped the price significantly, so that's good. Um, they have like um, eyelets, spring eyelets and um, wire cable. I don't usually use that. They have bottles if you guys are interested in i'm guessing but this is one of my favorite items mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um if you um on the swarm yeah. the um sorry the extraction we did in the tree mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> at the secret location <laughs> Um, you notice that this was on the box it made the extraction so much easy mm -hmm. easier than having to staple stuff mm -hmm. on you just swing it to the closed or the venti look, um, option and mm -hmm. I was good to go and I actually got mine there mm -hmm. and I'm going to actually pick up a few more because from now on my B boxes all my nook boxes that's what I'm putting them on. Mm. And if I were to order it, I would, it would have been way more expensive than getting it there. So that's very good value for money. Um, you have the rapid, <coughs> um, the rapid wrong feeder. I don't usually use this, but it's very good for like hobbies, beekeepers that looking to just feed their hives in times after they harvest their honey. How does it work? Can you show us how it works? Well, the rapid round, it's it works by like so. You have the little hole at the top of the hive. Mm -hmm. You put that on there, and then you put the cover in that stuff in, mm -hmm. and then you fill it with your sugar water. Mm -hmm. Now the bees cannot come. The, this prevents that part prevents them from coming out, so they stay under there and they drink it until it's done. Okay. So the bees will not drown. Mm. That is almost zero bees drown okay. in this system. You know, this is my favorite, most favorite item in the <laughs> store. 
um, as you can see it's only $35 for these feeders I love using them they take a gallon at a time mm. and that's so as soon when I pull my honey and I extract from the bees that's the system that I go to to mm. use to um, feed my bees after I harvest my honey mm -hmm. and actually all that I have I bought it from Bloomberg mm -hmm. now I saw that they have this new item which is the all plastic frame and foundation included mm -hmm. now the one that they have it doesn't as you can see it doesn't have the wax on there mm -hmm. so after you buy it you have to be sure to give it a coat of wax you can melt the wax and use a roller mm -hmm. or you could just scrape the wax on mm -hmm. but i would advise when using this always um coat it with wax okay. before putting it in the hive now i started using these types of frames well i use the pieco um but these are a different brand a lot of the times the manufacturers don't sell them with the wax because of they are afraid of like diseases sending diseases mm. to foreign places mm -hmm. so that's possibly one of the reasons why he doesn't have but it's an easy fix and it's a system that let's say wax moth um, damage one of your hives it's simple enough you can take out this one scrape of the damage mm. recoat it with wax and put it back in another hive whereas if you have the wooden <coughs> frame and anybody that is like an experienced beekeeper or have been through the struggles before <laughs> knows that when the wax moth eat the um, comb and everything, they body wood as well. Mm. So they damage the, the frame. So if you're using the plastic, then the plastic is, you can reuse it over and over and over for years and years to come. Mm -hmm. So I am really investing heavily into plastic now um so as you can see in my hand too they seems like they re they got restocked on um foundation on frames it, it shows that the price there is 22 dollars mm -hmm. for the deep and 15 dollars for the shallow so yeah so they have the smoker i know previously in dominica we used to buy those smokers for like 150 mm. 160 dollars and now the big one is 65 so mm -hmm. you know it's really bringing a competitive price on the market and we have the hive tools he has yeah he, ha he has hive tools and he also has the j hook tools that's my favorite one mm -hmm. all my videos you guys maybe see me using this <laughs> one right but i keep losing them constantly <laughs> and you cannot go and order one every time you know so it's best you just get them cheap fifteen dollars mm -hmm. you buy a replacement you buy two so that's why i come and buy mine mm -hmm. rather than having to order and customs give you problem it loses mm -hmm. <laughs> so i um, good down um for any big beginner beekeeper i would advise you take this one just because it have the extra option terry uses oh, this, this one, one. <laughs> <laughs> i'm the beginner beekeeper. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, so they have these two options. Also, they have uncapping knives, um, cheap, relatively cheap. I think I bought my own for like five US, mm. and this one is eleven dollars EC. Mm -hmm. So you can't go wrong on that. Um, they have the frame grip. I don't really use that, um, to be honest. But um, this is something that um, it's made for dealing with the hive the frames in the hive mm. but a lot of people use it in their honey houses okay. so while dealing with frames and stuff in honey house so eventually when i really organize a proper honey house i'll be getting this but not at the moment and they have the uncapping knife i guess if you harvest honey mm -hmm. and you do it with a regular knife you will know the importance of having one like that <laughs> so they have that as well and everything from start to finish yeah so they have also um queen excluders that's why i also buy my queen excluders because it's like 13 dollars 13 14 dollars for it 
online you pay five six dollars by the time you turn that five Keeping six customs. us to <laughs> us and ec and whatever you buy, better just buy it there so i get my queen excluders from them and i haven't had any problems my horny heel is the same as all the other brands that i buy in the states i have no problem with this so they will find form so um, basically that's what they have on that end but i saw like they had some, an interesting item on the other side we can go and just have a quick look at it mm -hmm. and then yeah so i think it's over this mm -hmm. way <laughs> <laughs> and you can pick up some boots yeah you know. we need boots <laughs> for those of you who have the aggressive bees yeah <laughs> <laughs> and they have <clears throat> Um, extractors, only extractors. So as you keep getting bigger in your operation, you definitely going to need these. And from what I can see, they give good value for money so far. Um, because an extractor, I have a free frame of my own. I bought it for eight hundred and ninety-five US from Man Lake. Again, turn it to AC do all the um shipping handling mm -hmm. and so on you way past that mm -hmm. and they are also have like the manual if you not really interested in going big or you want to live that healthy lifestyle you want to save the planet <laughs> <laughs> you can do the manual instead they have it for like thousand five hundred dollars so and it seems that um they have get off quite a few more stuff and um that's the place that I come to get my equipment quick and easy. And I think tomorrow, today is what, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, mm -hmm. they have some sales stuff. So yep. feel free to take advantage of it. Let's hope I get this video out in <laughs> <laughs> You're putting the pressure on me now. I have to edit tonight. Get it out tonight. <laughs> I'll try, people. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't do too many, you know. <laughs> So you guys get to see it before they sell the yes. sale. So you mm -hmm. know, um, feel free to stop by. Good customer service, very mm -hmm. friendly. Uh, you know, yeah, everything for the garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything to make your plants bloom. Yes. <laughs>